my child. I have searched you and known you. I know you're sitting down and you're rising up. I understand your thought afar off. I discern your going out and your lying down. And I am familiar with all your ways. For there is not a word on your tongue, but behold, my child, I know it completely. I have hedged you behind and before, and laid my hand upon you. Such knowledge is wonderful. It is high. None can attain it. Where can you go from my spirit? Or where can you flee from my presence? If you ascend into heaven, I am there. If you make your bed in the depths, behold, I am there. If you take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there my hand shall lead you, and my right hand shall hold you. If you say, Surely the darkness shall fall on me, even the night shall be light about you. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from me, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to me. For I formed your inward parts. I covered you in your mother's womb. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are my works, and that your soul knows very well. Your frame was not hidden from me when you were made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. My eyes saw your substance being yet unformed, and in my book they all were written. The days fashioned for you when as of yet there were none of them. How precious also are my thoughts to you, my child. How great is the sum of them. If you should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When you awake, I am still with you. And I'll lead you in the way everlasting.